This is what we're making today. Invigorating pizza. First, we're going to make the dough. In 3 quarter cups of water, we're going to add in sugar and yeast. We're going to give it a quick stir and set it aside for 10 minutes. Now, in a stand mixer bowl, we're going to add in 2 cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of sugar. We're going to place our bowl into the stand mixer and begin mixing. After 10 minutes, our yeast should have activated and created the foam on top of the water. We're now going to add it with our dry ingredients. We're going to mix and knead this dough for 10 minutes on medium speed. What we're looking for is a nice ball with a smooth consistency. Once our dough is done, in a new bowl, we're going to add in 1 tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to place our dough in there and make sure that the whole surface is covered in oil. We're then going to place a towel over our bowl and let it proof for one hour at room temperature. While our dough is proofing, we're going to start cutting all of our veg. While I cut my veg, this is where I remind you to smash that like button and hit the notification bell for new videos. And if you really like what you see, hit the subscribe button. It's at the bottom right of your screen. And guys, just to remind you, if you're looking for recipes for my videos, check out my website at chefmar.ca. Here, you will find all my Genshin Impact recipes with detailed instructions and specific measurements. So don't forget to check it out when you cook my dishes. And also guys, if you want to help support fund my recipes, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash chefmar. Once we've cut all our produce, we're now going to make a garlic cheese sauce for our pizza. We're going to begin by melting some butter in a saucepan. Then, we're going to add in some garlic and saute it on medium heat for about 2 minutes. Once our garlic starts to develop a light brown color, we're going to add in 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour. We're now going to make a roux. We're going to cook the flour off for 5 minutes before we add the cream. Make sure you don't skip this step or your sauce will have a floury mouthfeel. Once we add the cream, we're going to give this a good mix until the sauce is of the right consistency. Once our sauce achieves the right thickness, we're now going to add in 2 cups of cheese. We're going to cook this off on medium heat until the cheese melts into the sauce and we have a nice smooth cheese sauce. Once our sauce is done, in another pan we're going to cook off our mushrooms. We're going to season the mushroom with some salt so that it releases some of its liquid and then we're going to saute it for about 2 minutes. The reason why I'm doing this is because I don't like the taste of raw mushrooms. I'm trying to remove that earthiness that the mushroom has when it's raw. After 1 hour of proofing, your dough should have doubled in size. We're now going to punch it down with our fist. Now, on the surface of your table, we're going to dust it with flour generously. We're going to place our dough on the flour and then roll it out with a pin. When rolling out the dough, don't worry too much about the shape. Just roll it out to your desired thickness. Once we've rolled out our dough, we're now going to move it onto a sheet pan. Once on the sheet pan, we're just going to stretch out our dough and flatten it. Once our dough is nice and spread, we're going to start folding the edges inwards. This will be our crust. If you have extra cheese lying around, you can stuff it in there. Then you have stuffed crust pizza. Originally, I was going to stuff it with cheese, but I wasn't sure if the cheese I had was going to last so I decided not to stuff it. Once we folded our edges in, we're now going to shape the pizza into a round shape with our hands. Once we've achieved our desired shape, we're now going to pinch the dough 
and form our crust. And before we start laying out our toppings, we're going to dock the dough with a fork. The purpose of this is to prevent the dough from bubbling up while we're cooking it in the oven. Once we're done docking, let's build our pizza. After building our pizza, we're going to throw this in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And this is our pizza after 20 minutes in the oven. Now we're going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. Once our pizza cools down, we're going to place the pizza on a cutting tray. We're going to cut this pizza into 6. If you guys are wondering why I rested the pizza for 10 minutes before cutting it, it's so that the dough will relax and harden, making it easier to cut, and also giving us a crispier texture. And this is Gene's specialty, invigorating pizza. Now let's give this pizza a try. Only if you guys can smell this. It smells like garlic and fresh bread. Now let's give it a try. Take a look at that. After eating it, the dominant flavor is obviously the sauce because it has garlic in it. But what's actually interesting about this is the cabbage. I know you guys can't see it because it's under the cheese, but you can really taste the sweetness of the cabbage in this pizza. Originally, I thought the cabbage would do nothing with this, but after eating it, I'm actually shocked. It actually does do something for the pizza. As for the pizza dough, for me, it's a little too bready, but some people like that. Personally, I like a nice thin crust pizza, but that's just me. Anyways, that's the end of this episode. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what to cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.